Hello YouTube, this is William. Uh, just wanted to give you guys kind of a shop update. Um, I haven't done one in a while and let you know where I'm headed as a, a shop and what the plan is, the goals are. And um, just um, kind of let you guys know what I'm thinking. Okay? Uh, you guys are like family. I appreciate all your support, all your the followers, the the guys who comment, the the suggestions, the I mean the likes, the shares. How the this channel is just expanding. This shop is expanding. Um, I have applied for and I should get any day now my LLC. So it'll be a corporation. This is for long term, folks. Um. So that's in the works. I've been holding off on getting any uh, business cards or caps or patches or anything like that until all of that's done. So it's going to be a WC Knives LLC. Okay, that's coming very soon. Um, the other thing is, let's talk about the super secret knife. You guys want to talk about that for a minute? All right, this knife has been in the works for a couple of months now. Uh, there's been a group of people that has been testing this knife and we've been going through different designs and revisions and tweaking it here and there and um, a lot of conference calls, a lot of telephone calls, uh, video conferencing, uh, passing knives back and forth. Um, it's, it's, been, it's, it's been a lot of fun uh, developing this knife. This knife picks up where the woodsman left off. It does the same thing as the Woodsman's will do, uh, which the Woodsman was designed for a Woodsman. It was designed to, to take care of your camp chores, your butchering game, um, doing your, your uh, uh, pot hangers, your, your tent stakes, light carving, that type of thing. That's what the Master Woodsman was designed for, and it does it very, very well. This knife will do that, and it does it very, very well but it is also a survival knife. Not only for the woods, but hey, I didn't forget about you guys in the hood either. If you need to go through a Buick, this knife will do it. If you need to go through a cinder block wall, it'll sure help you do it, <laughs> okay? So this, this is gonna be a, a survival style knife, a tactical. I, don't, I never got into the tactical side of it, but this one could be considered a tactical knife as well uh, with the design of it. It is like nothing you've ever seen. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Um, this uh, is made from 3 one tool steel, so it's very heavy duty, very robust. It is, it comes, it's going to be about 11 inches long, 11 and a half, somewhere like that. It's not going to be too big. It's going to be something that you will carry. You're not going to leave it in the truck because it's too big and heavy. Uh, it will be on your body when you need it. That was another thing, key thing that I wanted. Okay. Um, the name of it is the WCSK. There's been a lot of good guesses on that. But that stands for William Collins Survival Knife. Very simple. I'm a simple type guy. Uh, this has my name on it. I'm very proud of this knife. Uh, I'm very proud of the people who helped me des develop this design and give me su suggestions here and there. And from those, this knife was developed. Um, WCSK is, also stands for the four pedals that I wanted to cover and make sure we included in this knife design. That was woods. I wanted to make sure we covered the woods scenario, whether it be survival or if it be a camper. This knife would be... Uh, at home in that in that uh, in that in the woods, this knife will also be for the combat soldier. WC, okay, woods and combat. All right. Then the S is for survival, whether that be urban or it be woods. Either way, this knife is is well adapted for either type scenario, uh, survival scenario. Okay. The K is for kitchen. Now, it's not for your kitchen at home. It's for your camp kitchen, okay? It is to take care of that, the meat processing. It's to take care of those uh, the fish you catch. What if you have to dig up roots? This knife is, is designed to do that. It's for your kitchen things, all right? For you cook it. So the WCSK fits that as well. 
Um, below that is a serial number. These knives are serialized. Whoever, whenever I receive the money for these, this knife, whatever serial number is open at that point, that's the number you get. You can't pick and choose. Okay. This is uh, if once I get the money, whatever's next in line, that's your number, and I'll let you know at that point what your number is. All right. Um, the B stands for model B, base model. Could there be other models? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh William's thinking, huh? This thing could expand into something you do even better. All right, it's good now. It could get better, but we don't know. All right, uh, so this is a base model. That means what you see is what you're going to get, okay? There is no deviation. There's no adding. There's no taking away. There's no color changes. There's no steel differences. That's what you're going to get. It's, it's as close to a production model as I have ever gotten to at this point. All right? Reason for that is my intent is to make these knives while I'm finishing up the custom order track. Okay? Um, my intent is to do at least 10 of these a month. That means first 10 will be done within 30 days when the video is released or the design is released. The second 10 will be done the, the following month, will be done within 60 days. The third 10 will be done within 90 days, so on and so forth. Okay? So that means the quicker you order, the quicker you get the knife. Um, and when you place your order, I will tell you then what uh, range you're in. Okay? This will not be a deposit thing. This will be full money up front. And the pricing will be under $300. That includes a knife and a taco style uh, Kydex sheath with a tech lock. Just a temporary sheath to get you by. There are going to be some leather guys out there that, that has the specs so that they can give you an aftermarket leather sheath. And uh, Stitch Gear is working on a a very um, knife oriented design. He's coming up with something unique for this knife. Stay tuned. So it will be unveiled. The plan is to unveil that sheath design with the knife design. I'm not ready to release the knife design yet. Tweaking it here and there, just some minor adjustments, but I want to make sure that it's right. It's, we're 99.9% .9 there, but again, I will release the design on this on the 18th. Uh, and with that, I should have a sheath from Stitch Gear to show you what, what he's come up with. Okay? There's some other things that work with some other guys too. So, stay tuned. Alright? So, um, that's enough on the knife. Um, again, that will be released on the 18th. Save your pennies. It's going to be very affordable for a lot of knife. And it's going to be, it's, it, uh, the only word I can des describe it is, it is amazing. It, I have never used anything like it in my life, and I have used a lot of knives. Um, this knife has been put through some abuse. <laughs> it has been abused. But uh, it just keeps on working. Um, okay, the um, next thing is uh, I want to talk about uh, where I see WC knives headed, um, there's a lot of knife companies out there. There's a lot of knife makers out there, and uh, these guys do fantastic work. Um, there's makers out there that can make you a twenty thousand dollar knife uh, with gold inlays and with the uh, mammoth ivory and just scroll work and Damascus steel and just any and everything that you would want. Okay, that's not my passion. My passion is designing and making knives that's unique, that does a multifunction task. That's that's my passion. That's what gets me up in the mornings. Uh, right now, I've been inundated with uh, custom orders for knives that really you could get just about anywhere else, and that's uh, that's taking me away from what I really love and enjoy. It's, it's, um, and, um, that's not fun. <laughs> it's work. Yeah, I, would, I didn't want work. How, how did this thing go wrong? I don't know how this happened. But anyway, 
So I may be kind of slacking off on the custom work. I don't know yet. I am, I'm not stopping it yet. But um, I'm wanting to concentrate more on my designs. Um, that, is, that is my passion. That, that's what, uh, uh, like I said, gets me up in the mornings. Um, and I, I think right now I'm getting a stable of uh, some knives that, that is very unique that um, uh, is a little bit different than everybody else. There's, there's no truly one-of-a-kind standalone knife designs. Folks, it's just not there. After thousands of years of designing and making knives, every knife is going to remind you of something else. Let's just face it. I hope that I can put a little tweak here and there to make it just a little bit different, perform a little bit different. Make it to work, perform, and, and do tasks a little bit easier for you. That's the goal. Knives made to work. It's not just a slogan, folks. That is, that is what my passion is, is to find that perfect knife. And to be honest, I hope I never find it because I love the pursuit. Um, okay, so that's, what, that's where I'm looking at heading. Uh, now, depending on the volume of orders I get for this new knife, um, I don't know, I may be outsourcing some of the heat treat just, just so that I can uh, get them out as quick as I can to you guys. Uh, Peters does a fantastic job. Uh, they, will, they will do uh, the heat treat right. They'll be cryo treated if we go that route. I don't know, it depends on the volume of orders. Um, and so... Um, the goal is to is production on this knife. It, it's not a custom. It's a production knife, and that's that's what I want to provide you guys. That's something that's been missing. Okay. So with that said, man, you guys are just awesome. You are just the best audience, the best supporting uh, cast that anybody could ever ask for. Uh, I appreciate every comment. I appreciate every view. I appreciate every like, every share. Just share all these videos. Spread it throughout everywhere. All your social media. Put William's face up there. Put WC Knives LLC. It's coming. It is. I promise. Money's been paid. Paperwork's just coming. It's in the mail. All right. Um, so anyway, you guys get out in the backyard. Whittle on a stick. And uh, be sure and take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.